We're gonna be palpating gluteus minimus. So I'm just gonna orient ourselves with our origins on that ilium. So again, similar to gluteus medius, if you've already previously watched that video, this is going to be originating on the outside or the external surface of the ilium between two gluteal lines. So previously it was between the posterior and anterior, and now minimus is between the anterior and inferior gluteal lines. So I'm gonna be finding the PSIS and the PIS and then sinking into our greater sciatic notch here. And as previously found, I'm going to landmark what is known as the iliac tuberculum here and draw kind of a trace line across that. This is my anterior gluteal line. And then deeper inside that greater sciatic notch, and instead of getting at the tuberculum, I'm actually gonna drop down off the ASIS into the notch between the ASIS and the AIIS, anterior superior iliac spine and the anterior inferior iliac spine. And this line basically goes straight across from the greater sciatic notch towards the notch in between those two anterior landmarks. So this would be the inferior gluteal line of the ilium. So between the anterior and inferior gluteal lines is the origin. It's going to be deep to gluteus medius. This is not gonna be an easy separation. It's more of a superficial palp for gluteus medius, but all of the minimus palp is gonna be through medius. So you're gonna to have to sink down. Gluteus medius attached to the external surface of the greater trochanter here, but minimus is more on the superior aspect. So again, if you need to, you can utilize the leg to help you landmark. So what I like to do is add a little bend in the knee, and then I'm gonna lift up and down on the ankle, and you can easily see the greater trochanter moving underneath the surface here. So that will help you find the greater trochanter. So I have the anterior and posterior borders, but now I wanna find the superior border. So basically you follow up on bony resistance until you start dropping off, and that will give you the superior aspect of it. So this is the insertion of gluteus minimus, which means it's a much smaller muscle in comparison to gluteus medius. Minimus is more of a stabilizer, but it is definitely involved in abduction of the acetabulofemoral joint. So where I was palpating a little bit higher and a little bit broader for medius, I'm gonna sink in right above the superior aspect of that greater trochanter, and I'm gonna ask for more of a pure abduction. Great, let's bring the leg back down again. So once the leg is relaxed, you can see I'm sinking in quite a bit here, and then as soon as my partner starts to lift her leg up, I'm gonna be pushed right out. And again, as we relax completely again, then I'll get a nice sink back inside the belly. And then again, as she abducts, you get pushed out. It is definitely gonna be hard to determine what is medius versus one is minimus. But one thing that I like as your palpation skill improves is you should be able to tell the difference between one layer of muscle, which again, this is just medius. But as you get closer to that greater trochanter, it's going to feel denser. It's going to feel a lot thicker. And that is because we're going through two layers of muscle now. So again, sinking in just above that greater trochanter for minimus. Minimus has very similar functions to medius, but as I said, because a lot of its fibers are more straight up and down, we're gonna focus heavily on abduction instead of with medius, we did abduction, external rotation extension. So that is gonna conclude our palpation of gluteus minimus.